meters, here we are in the middle of winter and I've got an email from a real estate agent to go and do a roof inspection for a lady and this lady is a regular customer of mine that I've been to her house over the years at least 10 times and most of them are for big carpets and for some unknown reason she's quite funny about the carpets even though when I get there she says, oh, I'm not so fussed about it, or this, or that, or the Too other. And I explain to her where way. she lives at the top of the hill in, in amongst thick bush, and having the giant cathedral-style ceiling she's got, she'll get shitloads of carpets. And um, she seems to be happy with that, and then the next time she gets a carpet, she calls me again desperately. But lately, it's been through the real estate agent, and I just wonder whether she's sticking it to the agent so that they get off their ass and do something sometimes. But anyway, we're on our way to that job. <clears throat> And this particular job that I'm right at right now is a bloke that's been calling me over the last couple of days giving me a running commentary of a red belly black that's under a concrete slab. And I explained to him that while it's on a concrete slab, I'm not gonna get it, it's gonna cost him money unnecessarily. And to work out the routine, the times it comes out, blah, 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 blah. He did exactly that, he called me. He said it's an overcast day. And I said, well, that's a good thing because the snake will probably sit there a bit longer. It'll take longer to cool, to, to warm up. And we're only one minute away from his house. And at the same token, we've also got a call to go to Upper Coomera to catch a carpet. And 500 meters. So that's his sleep in a shed, and we only just a week or so ago removed one from this bloke's house. Uh, but apparently, this one's been there for three or four days, and it ain't going nowhere. So I'm going to hope that this red belly's out, because otherwise we have to play the waiting game. And although the other two are not urgent at all, I just don't. You know, I was supposed to be at this lady's house at 10:30, and here it is nearly 11 already stuff around the same calls as per usual but Turn left. anyway Pace just about it job here with the red belly what number Hastings 56 And a little bit of stuff piled up out the front. Not that that makes it all the reason to be here. Here you come in. Yeah, this guy's just put where he used to be. Yeah, so I'm going around if that's the case. This guy's either from ABC TV or ABC Radio, one of the two. Where's this hole? Well, there's a gap. Underneath there? Yeah, just, just sort of like the bricks come down and that slab is sort Lucky of Lucky that pop plant was there, otherwise me turning up would have frightened him. All right, well, I'm going to go back out the way we can and do the bolt straight at him. Not a very red bill, is it? No. I was just talking to the camera here. Oh, Some right. red bellies have a lot of red, and yeah. this guy has very little, yeah, next right. to none. Okay. But it is a red belly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a young one. Yeah, he's stinky. He's pooing all over me. Thanks for that, buddy. There we go. Oh, no, don't go back down there. There's all lots and lots of poo from where they've been laying each morning. Yeah, right, okay. And all the geckos and skinks and stuff would get down 
in uh, this crack here. Yep. And these guys have been knocking them off left, right, and centre. Got a little bit of red at the front there, but the rest of his belly's quite dark. Yeah, yeah, he is, isn't he? Anyway, these guys are relatively cannibalistic. Are they? And uh, they'll eat pretty much any rip any reptile and often they'll eat each other as well so to have a little red belly in with another big one is a bit strange usually the bigger red belly will eat the little one but right okay and so how come he doesn't have a go at you he would like to actually but i just wasn't giving him the opportunity right they're a relatively placid snake but um if i'd have put my finger there he would bit me straight away yeah yeah and that would have been a trip to hospital but he wouldn't um he wouldn't have had a go at your leg or anything like no that. i mean if i'd put him closer to to anything he would have tried to bite because he thinks that I'm about to eat him yeah. um, but if we were oh, the skins over there too so they've shed they've been here for a while snake skins and snake mm. poos everywhere um yeah if I had just sat here and had a coffee next to him he would never come out and have a go you'd have to physically do something to him yeah right so you definitely seen two heads the other day yeah it's similar size or bigger um it was hard to tell but I think from the size of them they were about from the from the sort of the width of them they yeah. were about the same size I think yeah yeah, well there's a skin there.